<sighs> Hi, it's a very tired Jenna from McCreeth here. I don't know why I'm holding the camera. I usually just prop it up on a on the side there, but uh, yeah. Um, last Friday night, I made a couple of videos, and I decided not to post them because, well, it seems a lot of my videos are just me ranting and roaring and being angry and. It's kind of been that way for a while, and uh, people, I guess, don't care, or maybe they just hear too much. It's been a rough couple of years in the world. COVID has changed things for the worse, and uh, one thing I'm going to bring up that... Uh, People, people tend to forget that I'm human. I don't know if that's because I'm trans or because most people don't really know me. They only know what they see on Twitter or YouTube. Um, when you lose your job and you can't find a, a job or can't find a good job and you can't get yourself out of debt, sometimes you have to make some really tough decisions. and. Uh, not too many things I've been able to count on in the uh, 15 years I've been here in Newfoundland, but uh, one of them has been my cat, Dasher, and uh, they say it's it's irresponsible to have a pet if you don't have at least a thousand dollars stashed away in case of emergencies, as they say. I'm going to be honest, um, I don't have a thousand dollars stashed away. I got a couple boxes over there full of hockey cards that I could try to pawn off, but it seems everyone's trying to sell hockey cards because everyone's there's a lot of people in wearing the same shoes. They've lost their job or they've their business is closed, so everybody's trying to hawk off their their personal items to make a few bucks, which means these things ain't selling for what they're supposedly worth. I guess it would be a very difficult decision for me to give up my kitty cat. He's a senior. He's uh, at least 15 years old, which means he's 75, um, the equivalent of cat to human years. And most of those years have been spent right here with me. Um, he had a brother. Unfortunately, he passed away four years ago, I think it was. It would be very difficult, I think, to uproot a kitty cat at this stage of their life and either put them back in a shelter or give them to someone else, I don't know, um, foster home or find them a new home. Heck, people don't want to take on older pets. They want younger pets so they can have the full lifetime pet experience. But... Uh, there's definitely a dilemma here, and I guess it just, it, it's an example of the, you can only handle so much stress, and when one thing's wrong, maybe you can learn to cope with it, but when 15 to 20 things all go wrong at the same time, it can really be overwhelming, and uh, quite frankly, after all I've been through, I'm amazed I'm still with it, and uh, I saw a video of some unfortunate uh, person in Carbonier uh, had some sort of a mental breakdown and uh, it saddens me to see the, the mockery being made because this, this could happen to anyone and, and it has I mean when you lose everything you got you do everything right and work your butt off and Things just don't happen for you. I mean, here's one for you. There's a movie that was put out, I think, in 93 called Falling Down, featuring Michael Douglas. It's about a guy who did everything right, but just everything went wrong for him. He went to school, became an engineer, but his skill sets were deemed obsolete. So he lost his job, he lost his wife, he lost everything, and he just snapped emotionally. And, uh, it 
it makes me wonder and uh, it's tough to keep it together I don't think I've come close to actually snapping but uh, I have caught myself turning the camera on and venting and usually I, I know when I've got a good video I'll just I'll film it. I know what I want to say. I film it in one take and put it out there. But lately, some t there's been several videos where I'm like, you know what? That might be too much, even for me. Again, you only get so many chances to get attention. And uh, believe me, I've I've carefully utilized publicity stunts many times over the years when things needed to happen and but eventually the media's they get tired of you they get bored I was actually told once we like your story Jen but we've had too many Jennifer McCree stories do you know any other trans people it was a trans story I can't remember what it was but they're like this would be a great story if it was somebody other than you um, are, are there any other trans people that can tell this story so then I just started hating. I think it was CBC that told me that. So, Hi CBC, I, I still hate all of you. No, I'm just kidding. I don't hate you people. I hate you as a system for the way you've treated me and neglected me and ignored a lot of the great work. But people think I have a big ego. Maybe I do, I don't know. But I don't want the attention to be about me as a person. I want it to be about the issues all this activism and advocacy, the things I've done over the years, the attention I've tried to draw to myself have not been for personal glory. They've been to raise education and awareness to the challenges we face as trans people. Trans Day of Visibility is coming up and it used to be a big day. I would do something big and host an event or just do something that would grab headlines and ever since I stopped doing that it's pretty quiet I mean Calgary Alberta they're, they're gonna have a big flag event they're raising the trans flag at City Hall um, what are we doing here in St. John's Newfoundland well I googled just for fun trans day of visibility Newfoundland there is an organization that's uh, holding a, a small event um, I'm not going to give them any publicity because, quite frankly, the people running this organization, at least some of them, I have problems with. And uh, we'll leave it at that. But yeah, that seems to be the, the way things are around here. But uh, yeah, tough times. Um, worried about the health and safety of my cat as he ages. And would really hate to give him up. Um, we'll go on and on and on. I've, I've already filmed the job interview rejection videos. Seems that's the only thing I can talk about because that's that's priority one. I need a better job. I can't pay the bills. And I'm now deteriorating physically. When you can't pay the bills, you can't eat properly. I've got this job that's downtown, which is it's great to have any job. I get it. But going up and down these hills, my knees, my ankles are so sore. I can't even sleep because I'm in constant pain now. And uh, when your salary is as low as mine is, you can only take so many taxi cabs to work. The money runs out. Visa. There was a rant about them. They keep harassing me. When are you going to pay your visa bill? My answer is always the same. Whenever somebody finally gives me a good job. I don't know anymore. It's just, it's really annoying. It's frustrating. And I just hate to see so much potential wasted. Maybe, maybe that is the ego. I don't know. Should I be content to be an underachiever in life? I was 10 years old, they, they put me through all these aptitude tests and said, this kid is going to be a prodigy, a genius. 
Well, everything changed when I came out as trans. Every door that was ever open seemed to be slammed in my face. Interesting to see Colin Kaepernick back in the news. I can totally relate. Being blackballed for just prejudicial hatred. It's really sad. It's unfortunate. We gotta do better here in this world. I don't know. I'm just about uh, at the point where I've stopped caring about anything. I mean, I cared so much that I got involved in trans activism and that basically burnt me out. And uh, I the one community that's kind of been there for me has, ironically enough, been the justice sector here in this province. The last four jobs I've had, let's see now, a court, another court, a police station, and a Crown Attorney's office. That's pretty cool. One of the most uh, traditional industries out there is willing to have a trans person work for them. That's great. Happy to let me have a seat at the table. Now they won't let me climb the ladder. I'm just like, we'll let you come to the table, but don't you dare try to be a manager or anything like that. You just sit there at the bottom of the rung of the ladder, but uh, at least I'm on that ladder. What's going on? Where are all these organizations that preach diversity? Definitely not happening. Not here, that I can see. Anyways, enough of the rant. Um, yeah, times are tough. And I'm probably in the worst physical and emotional state I've ever been in in my life. And believe me, I've been in some dark places for the past, well, my whole life, really. But uh, things are pretty bad right now, and I just hope they get better. Appreciate you all watching. Have a great day.